good morning good afternoon or good evening depending on the locations uh, where you are right now we are on the agenda slide if you look at it we are on we are here so firstly uh, thanks to our sponsors uh, speaker sponsors dataworks samli systems active intelligence and our marketing sponsors dimodulo solutions cognitex and reportpedia we have seven speakers including myself lined up for today the round two as well also we have some offers uh, we call it as test track because we're considering beacon as the car show of business intelligence these offers you would get these offers uh, after the end of the event you will receive an email from me on how you can receive these offers before we start with business intelligence i would just like to quickly introduce you to myself i'm anup i've got 11 plus years of experience on business intelligence working for different industries like retail cpg uh, fleet management energy gas and uh, currently in uh, card issuing um i worked on as a developer i worked as ba all experience has been in the bi space and currently i also work as principal data analyst part time where as part time i'm building uh, the company's uh, public bi and report bi i've got experience on several uh, tools uh, both leading and also hands on experience in the past in etl tools reporting tools database and so on and i work for companies that are based in different locations uh, from australia to us i come up with uh, several concepts several initiatives uh, basically i even set up the companies uh, as an outlet for my um, to experiment my ideas and beacon is one of those ideas for them i'm pretty active in linkedin also i was active in uh, quora Uh, right now um, i don't find much time but uh, when i get time i also answer questions on core on business intelligence and data warehousing topics and i'm also active on the blogger uh, for bi topics you can follow me on akvkbi.blogspot.com now we'll get into business intelligence so what exactly is business intelligence there are whole lot of confusion around this topic everyone seems to either contract or expand the term business intelligence in the way that is suitable for them in a way that suits their products and so on so i would like to clarify what exactly is business intelligence this is purely from an experience basis so i don't have any academic background on business intelligence so this is purely based on my working on different projects that have to do with business intelligence so what i've seen is business intelligence is like this black box to which data is the input and the expected output is include business so what happens all those things that happens within that black box is business intelligence so if you are using data to improve your business then whether you use any sort of tool or technology or not you are doing business intelligence as simple as that so that's bi and at this point i will also like to clarify that bi is not a reporting tool or a reporting portal it's not a collection of reports it's not just an analytics tool it's not just another database there are people te- technical people coming to me and asking because they are do- don't have the experience on bi they probably working on uh, core applications and so on and they come to me and say is uh, bi just a copy of our production database no sorry it's not just a copy of the database Uh, there this is why i i want to clarify it it's not that it it's all to do with this uh, blind man and an elephant uh, story where five people touch different parts of the elephant and they think uh, that's an elephant uh, the uh, so to give an example or an analogy if you go to a car dealer and pick up the car from there you don't assume that the car gets manufactured there but here you see that the business users go to the reporting portal and get their reports from there and then they have this assumption that the reporting portal is producing those reports which it's not the reporting portal is uh, displaying those reports but 
to get those reports in those shape, to get that information into that report, uh, there's a whole lot of processes involved in the background which the business user cannot see. And uh, usually the business users have the call. So they think, okay, it's the portal where I get and I call this as BI. So hope I can clarify why we shouldn't think a car dealer as a manufacturer. Obviously, we don't think a car dealer as a manufacturer, right? In terms of definitions, there are several definitions and some of the standard definitions. And even in the standard definitions, you see there is a difference in the way business intelligence is defined. And if you look at the definition of Wikipedia today versus 2015, you would also see a difference in that. Basically, it's evolving. So what I figured out is you need a standard way to define this. And this is based on my own experience. I would define it as the process of deriving information and insights from data efficiently to enable informed decision making in order to improve business. So the processes will involve all sort of uh, uh, processes within that technologies, methodologies, and most importantly, the people who take the decision. And data here refers to all sort of data, including external sources. BI process. What does BI process involve? So on the left side, you have all the internal uh, data, structured data, or uh, unstructured data. And you also have uh, market data and open source data. It could also be structured or unstructured. So the type of data doesn't matter. The source of data doesn't matter. If that data is of relevance for your business, then it's, it's an input source. It, it, you consider that as your source data. It, and it doesn't matter on which structure it is. So if it's an Excel or XML or web logs or sensor data, wherever you get the data from, if that data is going to help you understand your business better, and hence you're able to make better decisions, then that's a data that is relevant for you. You can call it relevant data. And BI has this, when we looked at that black box, you can now zoom into that black box and then you get these strategies, infrastructure tools, processes, applications, best practices, technologies, architecture. So technologies like data integration or uh, data visualization, data virtualization, you can use that. So does it mean that data integration gets used only in VI? No, that's not the case. You can use data integration for various purposes, but that's a technology that you would use here in BI as well. So BI is a collection of a lot of things. And what does BI give you? It gives you information. So that's the third one here. It gives you information. As a business user, you get the information. And with that information, it triggers a question or an idea in your mind. And with that question or an idea, you go back to the process and say, okay, I have this high-level picture now, and there seems to be something wrong or something good. I want to know more about it. I want to see how I can uh, get into more details. And then you go back to... BI and get that information, that's called insight because now you go deeper based on the information that was shared at the first point. And now when you go deeper, you get the insight. And once you get the insight, you start making conclusions. And once you make conclusions, based on those conclusions that you have arrived, you make the decisions. And those decisions are supposed to improve the business. So there are more chances of your business improving when you take the decision based on facts. So this is all about BI, right? It's an iterative process. So uh, I hope I've clarified business intelligence in the most simplest way possible. If there are any questions, uh, please let me know. I will now uh, switch on the Q&A mode.